Hello friends, we'll be discussing the method in depth about sum of year of digit method. Now, this is a very funny method rather we can talk about this explaining you just on a simple concept. We'll discuss it in depth. <music> Now, when we speak about sum of year of digit method, this is one of the method which can be utilized to calculate depreciation. It is a very simple method and easy to understand. What do we do here is that cost of the asset minus scrap value is the amount on which you have to calculate the depreciation. Now, how do you calculate the depreciation further also depends on what kind of years you are taking into consideration or how many years you are taking into consideration. Just for an example, we'll have cost of the asset as X and estimated scrap value as Y. So X minus Y, whatever the amount is, on that specific amount, you will be calculating the depreciation. Now the catch here is you need to understand what is the depreciation or on which year, for which year basically you're calculating the depreciation. Let's say that the useful life of that asset is 10 years. So you have to do two workings here. First, you have to add every digit between 1 to 10 because, because the total useful life is 10 years. Hence, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. This total will give you plus 10 rather this total will give you the total number of years that means 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. This gives you the denominator that means equals to 55 and on the top it will be the numerator. Now, whenever you have to solve this problem, make sure you wrote down or you probably write down all these number of years into the descending order. For example, if the estimated life is 7 years, then you start with 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you start with 10 years, then 10, 8, rather 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and divided by the total denominator that means the sum of all these digits so for the first year it will be 10 upon 55 for the second year it will be 9 upon 55 for third year it will be 8 upon 55 and so on so that x minus y whatever amount you get multiply that with this denominator fraction or the numerator denominator fraction that will give you the depreciation amount so this is the method what you have to discuss when you have to talk about some of the years of digit method understand for the first year or rather for the first basic thing what you have to do is total all the digits when it talk about estimated life of the year or estimated life of the asset which will give you the denominator and on the numerator it will be in the reverse order that means if it is seven years seven six five four three two one if it is ten years 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and something like this. So for the first year it will be 10 upon 55, then 9 upon 55 for second year, then 8 upon 55 for the third year. That is the depreciation amount that will be calculated under this method. So I hope this method is really funny and easy to understand. However, not the most common thing that we figure out when we have to calculate depreciation because most of the companies use only straight line method or WDV method when it comes to calculation of depreciation. So I hope this method is easy and simple to understand. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.